Hello Virgo and uh, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the counterpart reading of your annual predictions. Uh, we're talking about 2021 of course. So at the first video we saw um, the energies that will be around you uh, throughout 2021, the primary energies and the energies of each month individually so that you will know not to miss the chances and opportunities when they come to you and uh, to know how to act and plan beforehand so to eliminate or even totally avoid any negative energies that may come to you. So tonight Virgo, I will be seeing every part of your life according to the 12 uh, astrological houses. Uh, that means I will see your personality, your finances, uh, your love, your partnerships, business partnerships, sex, career, future, we'll see everything. So, uh, very good for those that uh, have not seen yet the annual uh, uh, predictions uh, video. I will drop the link uh, down below in the description box so you can check it uh, anytime if you want. So, very good. Let's start. Let's start and see. Let's see what will be for you. And I think that uh, with this reading, we will be very complete. We had seen the overall energy. We had seen uh, each month uh, what energy will be carrying uh, uh, for you. But now we will do it even more personal, okay? Uh, for those who will resonate, we will see uh, all areas of your life. And I think that this is very important. So let's see, because I know that your annual reading was not uh, too promising. Uh, but you don't have to worry. Of course, we're talking about general readings, right? We're not talking about personal. So you don't have to worry that much. You can also watch your ascendant because uh, many of you could uh, uh, resonate uh, with your uh, ascendant reading if you know your um, rising sign. But in any case, anyhow, no matter what, 2021 is uh, absolutely going to be a much better year than 2020. So, very cool. I think that we are ready to start. First, we will see your personality, your physical body, your identity, let's say. How you will feel and how you will be in uh, no don't look at this okay uh, your annual reading was full of nine of swords so don't look at this i'm just cutting so i can see okay don't be afraid don't be scared already so virgo your personality mm -hmm. your body how you appear will be like oh very stable you will be um, very stable some of you may have ideas about uh, initiating something uh, regarding your career business of course we will look your career and your daily job uh, specifically but um, i don't want to say that you will be stingy okay please don't get offended it's just that you will be quite uh, uh, focused on money uh, how to be stable um, for example, as you can see, okay, I will say to you why. Because your feet are upon pentacles, about, uh, on coins. On your heart, you have coins. Over your mind, you have coins. So you will be already given all yourself throughout 20, uh, 2021 so to be financially stable and how to keep the money that you have how to make uh, new ideas about money. I think that your stability and your financial security will be the most um, important thing that will, uh, um, that you will have to, to deal with, that you will be interested in your, during the, the new year. Okay, let's see now your money. Your second house is about your money, your income, we will understand also why your first house, your first house is like this. Uh, I see you very stable. 
I see you very stable and very financially focused. Okay, let's say it like this. Okay, so for your second house, this is the card. You will be the hanged man. Uh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> Regarding your money. Uh, I think that you will need in 2021 for some of you to um, uh, to think that maybe your financial uh, the, the way that you are uh, behaving towards uh, money towards your income maybe is not the most right so it could be like you have taken a wrong uh, uh, way or wrong direction in your life regarding your income your work the money that you are taking so maybe you will need to reconsider what you will do <clears throat> i think that okay just for for some of you because uh, sorry that i will i am interrupting uh, sometimes the reading but i get the messages so some of you for some s small part of you can be a kind of treason or betrayal okay uh, regarding your your money but uh, i feel that you have done i feel like uh, with this card you are doing and you have done and you will be probably doing too many sacrifices maybe you will sacrificing your personal life maybe you're sacrificing your um, your free time uh, time with family time with friends time for your own personal uh, um, entertainment you are sacrificing things so to be successful at work so to be successful um, financially successful and this may be for some of you you have to reconsider if you are doing if you have taken the right path the right way or not just this i see no changes though i see no changes at least for sure no changes um, uh, let's say downgrade on energy i don't see that i see things stable like here stable no movement uh, for better could be because we will see later for worse no i don't think that something can go worse no let's see now your mind your thinking your communication how it will be during 2021 uh, what happened too much of communication with so many cards <laughs> okay. I was just thinking about oh, the hangman that we had seen here just too focused Maybe some of you have an idea to get you out of this um, this energy. Maybe you are just waiting to find the right timing to find the right uh, maybe uh, the right job for you, the right way for you. Let's see. Ah, this is at least very good. Okay. So you don't have, uh, I won't say complain, but this is a very good card. We're talking about uh, the way that uh, you will be communicating. You communicate a lot, a lot, a lot. You will communicate a lot with people during 2021. Your mind will be very clear. Your thinking will be very clear. Uh, I see, okay, we had seen that you will be having the nine of swords and overthinking, yes. But when you will start thinking your mind will not be let's say foggy will not be influenced by external uh, situations external energies no you'll have clarity you will have uh, a lot of um, th this is exactly you have a very clear mind so that you can take the decisions about your life and you'll have a lot of communication hmm? uh, for uh, people that you can you may have siblings uh, there is a chance that uh, you will uh, maybe at some point could be some kind of conflict with your si siblings but this will be only just so as to make uh, a new start with them a new start fresh start with your siblings uh, new relationships better relationship with your 
um, siblings. And I would say that um, for some of you, you may start learning something new. Oh, home. Home. One more. I took, uh, had this card here at the fourth house, uh, the six of cups. Something uh, uh, is a touch between Virgo and uh, Virgo's home, Virgo's family, and the past. Uh, maybe um, you will return back to your uh, house of your parents. Maybe you'll start visiting your parents um, anymore. Maybe your parents or grandparents or uh, people from your family will come and visit you more often during 2021. But uh, I think that uh, it's good because your foundations are built um, according to your past. And I don't think that it is something uh, bad at all. Emotions, or oh, maybe some can be nostalgic about the past a lot. What you had been having in the past about your home, about your family, maybe you have um, no connection or you have been um, away from your family the family that you have born, okay? Not the family that you have created. I don't see like this. Unless you have created uh, your own family many, many, many years ago, okay? And you are not together right now. But uh, I think that you will be very nostalgic also regarding your home, your roots, okay? I will say it like this. Very nostalgic regarding your roots. And now, love, romance, Maybe you will be nostalgic about uh, happy past times. You will be thinking, oh, in the past, uh, I was having such a good time. And maybe probably now, right now you're not having, that's why you're nostalgic about the past, how the family was, your home was. Okay, your romance, your love affairs and stuff. Hmm. Okay, decision. Uh, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of decision. Obviously, if you need to have a decision, it means that you have options, right? Uh, so you will be having options in your love life. You will be confused, maybe what uh, what part, what which way to to choose. I feel that even though you will have the clarity and communication, you will be still confused regarding your love life. Just a little bit of confusion because you will not know which way to choose. Uh, I don't see like bad because you will be having options in your love life. You just would not know. Uh, which way to go, which person to choose to move on with in your life. Uh, I would say you will be having a happy dilemma, okay? Hmm. Let's move to the, your sixth house now. This is your work, day-to-day -day work, okay? You'll see also a health I don't uh, read. Okay, maybe sometimes I read, but... Uh, uh, okay, let's see, and I'll explain to you. So for the sixth house, this one, this card. Okay, the five of pentacles. I would like to, to tell you just, yes, okay, be careful not to get sick. Hmm? Be careful not to get sick. If you get sick, of course you go to the doctor and everything will be fine. That is not a problem at all. Um, I feel that uh, this is not the message of the card, actually. It's just a little note that I get. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, the feeling, the message of this card uh, on this uh, house is that um, some of you are feeling um, um, neglected. Okay, You are feeling that you are giving too much at work and people do not recognize your efforts. You are feeling like uh, you're invisible, like you are working and you are working and you are working and you do everything perfect because you are perfectionist also, like as a zodiac sign. And you're working so much and uh, you are feeling that people do not recognize your efforts, do not pay you the money that uh, they had to, to pay you. You're feeling like a little bit left outside. Maybe some of you are having dreams, for example, for a promotion and maybe uh, you will not get promoted, someone else take uh, the position and you feel very low, very down. You should not. 
You should not, because this can change and you will see here in the career and future, okay? So don't start to, to have negative feelings about this. No, no. It is just that the good part is that you are working the right way that you have to work, no matter what if other people recognize your work or not. This can change. Of course, uh, here I will not get deeper because I get deeper only on personal readings, right? And this is a general reading for everyone. Uh, but just keep it in mind, okay? Don't get disappointed if uh, you feel that you are not recognized at work or appreciated, okay? Let's see your um, relationships now, your partnerships, your marriage for those who are married or you have a committed relationship. And maybe contracts, but it's, uh, it's housing astrology has uh, a few definitions, okay? Quite a few definitions. But the message is clear about most of them, or at least the message that you have to know is about one of them or two or three. So we will see. And here is the Knight of Cups. Here is love coming to you and see, lovers. Okay, for persons that uh, you are married, love is, uh, is uh, uh, around you. You don't have to even think about that they are not loving you. You'll have an offer of love from your partner uh, if you're in a marriage, okay? And uh, the lovers, it is meant to be. You are with a person that you are meant to be during 2021. For the, uh, for the singles, for the singles Virgo that... Uh, uh, you can wait that love is coming to you in 2021 and this love is here to stay okay when this person is coming in day, okay when this person is coming in your life this person will come to stay lovers meant to be major arcana uh, absolutely oh, so good card so nice card also if you are a businessman okay you will have uh, you can have an offer very good offer that you have to consider um, the relationship with your partners will be very good, very good. No conflicts, no arguments, nothing. It is like, if you understand, like a knight that is coming and offer you a cup. So uh, love and uh, calmness and harmony and very good feelings, very good feelings. So if we're talking about partners at work, the relationship with them will be very good. If we're talking about people that uh, are single, Love is coming your way with the lovers. Ah, mm, mm, okay. Also, yes, uh, contracts. You may sign a contract. You may have to sign a contract during 2021 that will be very successful. You will have an offer to sign a contract. Uh, I feel that it is absolutely certain, this thing. Okay? So, absolutely fantastic card, especially with the lovers at the bottom of the deck as the supporting energy. Yes, for businessmen, people, businesswomen, that uh, you are, you have to sign something. There is a possibility to sign, to sign something. Mm. Yes, it will come to you. And maybe this will change. <coughs> because if you're at work and you're feeling neglected, don't be to distress don't be sad because also will come if you can see also okay the, the knight is looking at the five of pentacles so it's coming to offer to you there will be for sure uh, some kind of offer to you love offer business offer could be and uh, that you have to sign a contract it's not just um, uh, verbal commitment no you have to sign a contract let's you know the eighth house a house is commonly said like a house of transformation, of sex and death. So Virgo, let's see how will be your sex life probably in 2021. Love you will have, okay. Decisions you will have, options you will have. Let's see about your sex. Oh, fantastic. The strength and the sun. Okay, I'll turn it so that you can see it. The sun, very good. Mm. What can we say about this? You'll be having too, too, too much 
of sex, very uh, satisfying sex, very happy, you will be feeling very happy regarding uh, uh, your sex. And also, okay, this new self that maybe, I don't know how you had been in the past, we're not looking at the past right now, okay, but uh, because we're talking about transformation, whatever happens in your life, Virgo, the transformation that you are passing through this period that I know I had seen on the cards that it is difficult and also astrological and intuitive it was also difficult for Virgo it's changing you have to pass all this and on the previous reading you have to pass all these difficulties because you will be transformed it, the Sun has fallen at your transformation and sex house so you will be transformed and what you'll be transformed to a Virgo that will be finally very happy and a lot of sex and a lot of sex okay <laughs> that's awesome ninth house for you now that has to do with uh, studies for sure with learning with law with religion with philosophy maybe even travels Let's see where we go. Your ninth. Uh... Oh, high priestess. Okay. Um, I feel that being there. When we are talking about religion, you you have a big interest in religion and spirituality. Absolutely, in spirituality. You will be having a lot of uh, interest during two thousand and twenty-one. Maybe you will also um, get a level up regarding your I will not say your how to explain to you hmm, with a high priestess we're talking about a highly spiritual person okay so when it's on your house that is talking about education about philosophy I think that 2021 you will be a Virgo that will have will value very much philosophy maybe you'll start reading books maybe you will be very interested in, in philosophy but you also become very wise. I think that some of you will also uh, will not go out and say, "Hi, you know what? I have learned this, and I have, uh, I'm reading this, and I'm studying that." No, you'll keep it a secret. You'll keep it only for yourself, and you'll gradually start uh, cultivating more and more and more your mind, your spirituality, your inner self, and you'll keep it hidden. But you are talking about high levels, okay? We're not talking about like I will take a book and I will read for online an e-book and for uh, one day, two days and that's it. No, we're talking about getting deep, deep into spirituality. Career. Let's go to career, to your long-term goals. Or your reputation, we will see. Because I have to, to tell you, okay, it's different the way that you are taking money with a hangman. It's different how money is coming to you with your work, day-to-day -day work. Because day-to-day -day work, maybe you are working today, you are fired. You get fired from your job because also it could be fired, uh, like uh, you are losing your job. You are losing your day-to-day -day job and then you change, you find partners, and you have an offer about something new because here is also something new okay you with your mind with your ideas new ideas you have new ideas you will start something new so even if they actually fire you from your work your clear mind with new ideas will make people come to offer you a new job that will um, uh, have to sign a contract right and maybe can lead you to very stable very cool. So uh, it is. This is what I wanted to, to say also because I didn't uh, I didn't do on the first reading. You have to see the overall energy. Don't see card by card only. Okay. So let's see your career, because career maybe you will grow absolutely, and we will see. Let's wait the card first. See, I I had this feeling. That's why I told you. Okay. That's why I told you that uh, career is different. When I saw this, I said, hmm, okay, maybe they will, uh, some of you can lose your job, but this is not the end of the world because 
here is the world of success. It's coming for you at your career. Okay, and what you will build your career, Virgo? The Empress. What it means? You'll have everything. And you will not just go and get it because people will come and offer you. People will come and offer you uh, chances about work, about partnerships, about business partnerships, about money will come to you and you will uh, sign a contract for sure. And what will be at your career? How you will be? The Empress, the person that has everything and is a person that is like, yes, of course, work, absolutely, but it's not uh, the card that says, go, I go and get everything. I have an energy that I will break everything, all the rules, and I just go and get what I want and what I need. No, the Empress is waiting and man is coming to her. Okay, um, don't say don't work and money will fall from the sky. No, 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 no. I'm just saying about the energy. You will work and you will see how pleasant and how smoothly things can turn to you because we're having the Empress. And I was feeling that your career is very different than these two cards. Plus everyone will see you that uh, the, the world uh, for me is not ending. For me, it's uh, the, most, the most powerful card of tarot the world okay okay sometimes of course it is ending but it's ending is one of the so many definitions and the other definitions is fucking success we're talking about total success the most powerful it's like you're having the world in your hands you know you are keeping the destiny or your destiny of your success and success is coming to you for me it's absolutely fantastic fantastic card this one in only in a few occasions it means endings and anyway we see that uh, your career your long-term goals will be totally successful and I'm so sure because when I saw at your mind you will be having so much clarity so many new ideas even if even if things are not you're not appreciated at the job day-to-day -day job that you're doing right now and you're not appreciated and if they fire you okay i don't say wait or quit your job because it's not quitting uh, it's getting that someone is taking action so maybe if you get fired at work offer is coming to you uh, a business offer and partnership if it's on your plans i don't know you know better than me i just read the cards and say that as we said, the transformation before, remember? Hmm? The transformation. It's like uh, I work somewhere, example, okay, and sorry, my blah, blah, too much talking. I work somewhere, <clears throat> people, I, I find it, as, a, as in first reading, very difficult around me. Energies are so bad around me. Everything is a little bit fucked up in my life. And uh, at some point, I feel that I pass all this as a lesson for me. And what's the lesson? To be transformed. And if we are transformed, what I will be having? The sun, complete happiness and success, okay? So even if you're not appreciated at work and someone comes and tells you, okay, do you know what? Uh, sorry, we cannot continue anymore. Don't give up. No way, because here, just right next card is coming over to you about a contract and the transformation that you'll have in your life will bring you success in your career and in your long-term uh, goals, you'll have the Empress, the, the person that has everything. I don't worry at all about you, Virgo. Okay. And now you, you see why I needed to do this, uh, this reading. Because we see every sector, every part of your life. Some can be good, some can be bad. Uh, I see here, all good so far, okay? Very good. Let's see the next card. And uh, for you, you know that you know tarot or reading tarot or watching videos, you understand yourself some cards, right? You don't even need me to explain to you. You will be having during uh, 2021 a lot of communication, as we said, a lot of communication, a lot. 
with your friends. You may uh, start um, working more in uh, social media. Maybe you will be start uh, working uh, regarding technology or have uh, discussions about technology, something with technology that could be uh, for you. Mm. People could be also falling in love with a friend of yours. Uh, falling in love in 2021 with a person that it belongs to your friends could also be too. And you'll have, uh, you'll join uh, groups of people, especially if we combine here the, the spirituality, you will enter new groups, you'll have more friends, you will communicate much more. And um, social media, yes, yes, yes. You will be very active in social media, I think. And you will understand very well in 2021 that actually, oh sorry, uh, that actually uh, you are also an outgoing person. I don't know if you have locked in a little bit or uh, being a little bit depressed before with troubles and stuff, but you will understand in 2021 that you need to be more outgoing and you will be, okay? And let's see now. The last card about your karma and I don't want to see here at your karma nine of swords and ten of swords and <laughs> okay I don't want because the reading so far is so good almost flipped it means that you have almost flipped out okay the ten of swords it means that Virgo that uh, energies are you, you, can, you have the free will, okay, to change things. You have the free will. If you don't, for example, get uh, depressed and you said, no, I will, I will fight for it. I can go because better things are waiting for me. You can do it. And it's here. It's here. And very stable if you are talking about money. Money will also come in for you. Okay, so what is your karmic card, the karmic lesson? said everything okay uh, it is even better than what I was expecting it is even better I was waiting about this and it's even better here the wheel of fortune your karma is like uh, you have to understand that life has ups and downs okay life uh, does uh, circles so you have to understand your lesson your karmic lesson is that one uh, circle has to be completed and you will take the lessons uh, Virgo so that you will be transformed to find your happiness maybe it has lasted too many too much time too many years and it is so uh, very um, heartbreaking I don't know how to say it it's uh, I cannot find the word now in English anyway the point is that the wheel of fortune you will change and you will know that after one circle of um, bad incidents of bad mood of bad situation in life the sun will uh, is uh, in the sky again the next day you know the wheel of fortune your luck will start again in 2021 one circle will close and the new chapter in your life will um, start and it will be very good because as i'm saying to you virgo you have the sun after you transformed right now i see that you are in a in a transition okay and you have to pass some difficulties that was obvious in the previous reading so to have the sun i am so glad that i had a, finally a very good reading for you virgo and I count so much in this reading, you know, and because it's just um, detailed, not in deep, okay, as we said, because it's general, but uh, you're having so good energies, actually, in each sector of your life. 
So Virgo, I'm really glad about this. I love some cards I really, really love. These cards I really love. Okay, these cards so much. In the Ace of Swords, absolutely. Mm -hmm. About the past, um, you know better about home. Uh, nostalgic and stuff. And this is how you will be your energy. Your personality, okay, not your energy, your personality. The Four of Pentacles. You will be stable and you will be uh, sitting on your money, uh, being attached a little bit to your money, uh, having money at your heart, having money at your mind. But I understand that this is because you have to be stable, at least financially, so that you will be strong during this transformation of yours for your happiness. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope that uh, it was complete as a counterpart to the previous reading. And uh, I wish you all the best. A fantastic new year. And uh, you'll see, be a little bit patient and you'll see how this all will fold out in your life. Until next time, um, 